So I'm here at Print Electronics USA at the Thin Film Electronics booth with Bill Cummings. Bill, thanks for exhibiting. Tell us about the new things going on at Thin Film. Well, this here, what you're holding is uh, our NFC, uh, printed NFC uh, sensor tag called NFC OpenSense. And the unique part about this is that um, the, inside the chip, it's got two unique IDs. So what we're able to do using an NFC-enabled smartphone or device uh, and tapping a product that has the NFC tag, we're able to determine whether the product is in fact factory sealed and not tampered with, or whether it's it's been opened. Now, what that does is it enables um, brands to address a couple of important applications. Number one, anti-counterfeiting um, uh, or product authentication, and also consumer engagement. Now think about from the consumer engagement side, if you're purchasing a bottle of wine, and counterfeiting is, is quite prevalent in China, for example. Now this is an example of a, a Fern Grove winery. We've got a, a collaboration with them and, and hope to be starting some field trials in Q1 of 2016. It's got an NFC tag incorporated into it, and we've seen studies that indicate anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of the red wine in China market uh, could be fake. Wow! So right. quite prevalent. Now, what Ferngrove is doing is leveraging the NFC OpenSense technology to arm their consumers with a tool to give them a bit more confidence that they are in fact purchasing uh, an authentic product and it hasn't been tampered with. So you can see here we've got the uh, Ferngrove app, and then we tap it to the uh, NFC OpenSense, and you can see the, uh, the messaging there, that product is authentic. Um, and they're working on the app currently, it, it'll enable the user to get additional information as well. Um, and this is going to be, these will be on shelves in about 50 retail outlets that Fern Grove has uh, in China, where they sell Fern Grove exclusively. So thin right. film has come a long way. I mean, you've got some incredible technology. I know it looks simple, but a lot of effort's gone into that. What are your next challenges in terms of getting this to market? Are they more technical or more just commercial than just getting out there? Um, well, first of all, there's been quite a bit of interest. Uh, we talked a little bit about wine. Um, we've also got a, a, a collaboration ongoing with Diageo to incorporate NFC OpenSense into the Johnny Walker um, uh, Blue Label whiskey and some other brands. Uh, but if you think about some of the other verticals where we've received quite a bit of interest and some traction, all markets where you have pervasive counterfeiting and also the need for consumer engagement. So right here you see some cosmetics packaging that we also use for demonstration purposes. But we've had ongoing discussions with a number of, uh, of global leaders in the cosmetics industry. Uh, counterfeiting is a major issue for them. Uh, there, are, there are countless articles that you can read online about uh, across many brands, the, um, uh, the counterfeiting that occurs. Now, this would be another example where you might use it for sure. cosmetics. Yeah, and it's not only a matter of inferior product, but in many cases, the product and ingredients that they're refilling these packages with can be harmful, if not fatal, to the end user. So there are um, uh, huge concerns among brands to be able to address this counterfeiting issue and make sure that they're putting uh, authentic product out there in the marketplace for their consumers. So the concept's quite simple. When you open it, you break the connector um, on the label. Let me show you uh, an actual sample here. So this is an NFC OpenSense tag. And you can see here that you've got the coil antenna, you've got the IC, or chip, which is manufactured right here in San Jose by ThinFilm, and then you've got this extended sensing loop. It's quite a long trace here. And what happens is we incorporate this into the packaging, and I'll demonstrate with the, uh, with the Johnny Walker Blue. So right underneath this label here is where the antenna goes, and you can see the extended sensing loop runs up underneath this label and up and over the cap. Now, there are two unique IDs in this label. The first indicates that the, this sensor is intact and it would indicate the product is factory sealed and has not been tampered with. So that would be in this state. Now for the open bottle, what happens is this sensing loop runs up across the point at which you would open the cap. And when a consumer or end user opens the bottle, this trace or sensing loop would a sense cut. And that serves as a switch to trigger the second ID, which is associated with the open bottle or open product. Now we're talking about whiskey and bottles here, but it could be a cosmetics package, it could be a pharmaceutical bottle, it could be a home healthcare product. 
really the idea or the concept is about running this loop over the package uh, at the point at which it's opened. So that would trigger the second ID and indicate that the package has in fact been opened. Now, again, we're getting back to the two applications that we're talking about. It could be help brands address counterfeiting if a product's been opened uh, and refilled with an inferior product, or from an, a consumer engagement standpoint. If a product's been opened, we're able to determine using an NFC smartphone that the person is in the consumption mode of the product. So the brand would be sending them different content, perhaps even reordering information, uh, cocktail recipes in the case of, of spirits. If the product is closed, we're able to identify that with the closed ID and the brand would send information perhaps to spur the consumer along to the purchase. Right. Uh, might send them a discount offer, they might send them product information, yeah. things like that. And this really is a complete solution, not just hardware, but there's also a software element. How are you managing right. the software element? That's right. So ThinFilm would provide the hardware in the form of the NFC OpenSense tag. In the middle, you have the uh, uh, communication element, uh, the NFC-enabled smartphone or device, and then you also have the cloud, where you s all of the data associated with the tags and the interaction that the consumer and user might have with the tag is then stored in the cloud. So there's a platform uh, in which this data is managed and analyzed and business decisions are made. So ThinFilm um, developed some authentication apps and is working on others and is developing a software platform. We'll provide some services, but we engage with a number of partners who also fit inside of that platform and provide a range of services as well on the software side. Bill, thank you so much. Great. Thank, thank you, you very much.